where learning math is fun. Now, in this video, I am going to talk about circles. So, what do you know about circles? Okay, so a circle is actually defined as a set of points in a plane which are equidistant from a fixed point called the center. Okay, and the fixed distance of any point from the center is called the radius. Now, dito sa video na to, we are going to talk about the standard form of a circle and how to graph a circle. How to be able to um, uh, determine the, the value of the center and the radius and then eventually to be able to graph the circle on a Cartesian coordinate plane. So, but before, before anything else, of course, let us first know kung ano nga ba ang standard form ng isang circuit. So, how are we going to derive the formula? Very simple. So, look at the illustration right here behind me. Okay, so you have a circle right here. Okay, so I plotted a circle. I, I drew a circle. Okay, I drew a circle here. Full center is um, at HK. And then, you have the radius R. And then, uh, same for example that we have an arbitrary point labeled as, or whose coordinates are, X and Y. So let us find the distance between these two points. And of course, if you already watched my video about the distance formula, you know that it is equal to. Okay, so the distance formula is just equal to D. I mean, is D. Okay, equal to the square of the difference na meron tayo dito sa x coordinates and the square of the change na meron tayo dito sa coordinates natin. Now, if we are going to substitute the values, let me label this one first. Okay? So, let h and k be your x sub 1 and y sub 1. Okay? And then your x and y, this will serve as our x sub 2 and y sub 2. And then, you have r. Okay? So, this r right here, which is the radius actually, is the fixed distance of this arbitrary point from the center. So, if we are going to substitute this one here, we will be able to get the standard form of a circuit. So, let's do it. Okay? So, you have replacing d by r, because again, r is the distance. So, you have r is equal to, okay? So, you have x sub 2, which is x, minus your x sub 1, which is h, squared plus y, okay, y minus k, squared. Now, if I'm going to um, square both sides, okay, the resulting equation is actually the standard form of the circle. And that is the first formula that we are going to use. Okay, I mean, that's the formula that we are going to use whenever we deal with um, circles. Okay, so let's square both sides. We will have, and well, we will have, the equation right now is written as x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equal to r squared. So this is, okay, this is the standard form. Okay, so this is the standard form of a circle whose center is at h and k and then you have the radius. Now, just in case that your um, h and k or the center is at the point of origin, then we can reduce this one as x squared plus y squared equal to r squared. So in this um, equation right here, again your center, okay? So your center is at 0, 0, and then you have the radius. Okay? So technically speaking, you have this. Now with that being said, let's work on a couple of exercises, okay? So what are you waiting for? Buckle up, please. Examples. Okay? So you have graphing a circle. Find the center and radius of each circle, then graph the circle. Uh, para mas mabilis sa inyo at mas madaling mag-graph, I think you should have the following materials. Okay? One is, well, syempre ito, maganda to. Pag meron ka ng ganito, mas mabilis mag-graph. Kasi may mga grid lines na. So graphing notebook. And then of course, since we're dealing with circle, syempre, ito lang na compass. Para makadraw ka ng perfect circle according sa sukat ng uh, radius niya. And lastly, para mas accurate, of course, you need a ruler. Okay? So, uh, ayan. Pag kunwari, wala kang, ano, wala kang compass na available ngayon, it's okay. Kasi pwede naman gumawa ng DIY na uh, DIY na compass. Like, yung ginawa ko ngayon, kasi kailangan ko mag-draw mag ng circle dito. So, gumawa ko ng DIY na compass. At alam nyo ba yung gamit ko lang na material? Folder lang. I used folder actually. So, pinat ko siya ng ganito. Isang strip. Ayan, may ginamit na nga ako eh. Ginamit ko na yan. So, 
Ayan, pwede nyo nga ito yan. O, oh, ayan. Yan lang, nagkat ng strip dito, tapos binutasan ko lang. That will serve as my uh, center and yung mga points on the circle mamaya. Given kung ano man yung magiging radius. So, malalaman nyo kung paano ko ito gagamitin mamaya. Ipapakita ko dito. Okay, ganun na. Ito lang. Pwede mo na. Compass na to. Okay, now. Uh, Siyempre, since online na tayo, well, well, let's take advantage of the technology that we have. Okay, so meron tayong dalawang um, software na talagang effective na gamitin kapag nag-graph tayo ng mga equations. Actually, hindi lang ito circle. So, you can download these apps. One is the Graphmatica and the other one is the GeoGebra. Okay, both are um, online software so pwede mo i-download for free. Okay? So, pag download mo ito, at least check mo kung tama yung naging graph mo ng uh, given equation. Di ba? Okay, so... Ayan, so with that being said, huwag na natin patagalin pa to. Let us answer example number 1. Okay, so for example number 1, we have the quantity x minus 3 squared plus y plus 4 squared equal to 36. So this is already um, of the form yung standard form natin. So all we have to do now is to identify, okay, is to identify the values of the center and the radius. So how are we going to do that? Okay, so don't forget that in this standard form, okay, in this standard form, di ba nga, the center of this one is H and K. So kung mapapansin nyo yan, minus H, para mas mabilis siguro makuha, no? Kung minus dito, kukunin mo yung positive. Tapos, ayan, ito, naging positive, di ba? So mamaya, pag naging plus, nagayon nito, we will just take the opposite side right away. Para mas mabilis, di ba? Mas mabilis matatandaan. And then you have equals to R squared, but we only need R. So mamaya, ang gagawin natin, of course, Pagpilis lang, get the square root lang. Okay, so let's have this one na. Yan, x minus 3 squared plus y plus 4 squared equals to 36. So, this is actually, okay, so if I'm going to expand this one, this is x minus positive 3. Yun yung sinasabi ko na, ano, okay, ipapakita ko lang. Plus y minus, don't forget, yun yung original na lang, minus. So, paano sa naging plus? Ibig sabihin, yung nilagay natin uh, value dyan, original, originally, it has a negative na sign. Okay? So, you have, ayan, equal to, this is 36, but we know that 36 is actually R squared. So, ibig sabihin, ano ba yung number na kapag in-square natin, ang sagot ay 36? Or, in other words, what is the square of 36? It is 6. Oh, by the way, we're dealing with distance here. So, even if I'm going to get the square root, I will reject the negative root. So, I will always get the uh, positive root because there is no negative distance. So, therefore, the square root of 36 again is 6. So, that is 6 squared. So, therefore, okay, so therefore, the center, the center of this circle is actually at 3 and negative 4. And then, your radius is equal to 6. And now, since we already have a, um, what do you call this, a center, a point right here, and we know what the, 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 the radius is, we can now graph the circle. So, let's have this Cartesian coordinate plane right here. So, you have 3 and negative 4. So, you have 3 and then negative 4. Alright, and next, all we have to do is to um, 6 na yung unit ng ano, radius. So, magbibilang tayo ng 6 units from the center. So, again, this is uh, 3, negative 4. So, magbilang tayo. Bahala kayo kung saan kayo magbibilang. It's either you're going to the right side, you're going to the left, down, or upwards. It doesn't matter basta 6 units ang bilang mo. Okay? So, let's try this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let me have my arbitrary point here. Okay. So the distance of this point right here and uh, from the center. Okay. So you know that this is equal to 6. Ngayon gagamitin na natin ang ating uh, DIY na compass. Okay. So ipapwesta mo lang. Kapag gumawa ka na ito, ipapwesta mo lang. Ito isa na may
there you have it. That's your circle. Okay, so you have the center is at uh, 3, negative 4, and then you have the radius equal to 6. And that's it. You're done. Alright, so let's have example number 2. Okay, so you have x squared plus y squared equals to 25. So, this is x squared plus y squared na agad. Ibig sabihin, your center or your center is at the point of origin. So, that is automatically equal to uh, the coordinates are 0, 0. And then, of course, your r, okay, your r, so this is r squared. You know that 25 is your r squared, right? This is r squared. So, therefore, okay, so your r is equal to the square root of 25. And what is the square root of 25? It is equal to 5. So, therefore, our radius is equal to 5. Ayan, now we can graph the circuit. Okay, ito pa rin. So, let's have 0, 0. So, that is here. Ayan. And then, you have the radius equal to 5. So, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ayan. So, once again, the distance of this one here from the center is 5 years. Okay, so, you have R is equal to 5. So, this one here is at 0, 0. And now, let's draw the uh, circuit. Yes, i natin yung 
uh, lagpas na siya ng konti sa 3. Tapos, as you can see, you also have a fraction na coordinate dito. So, just, again, uh, convert that one to uh, decimal. So, you'll have uh, negative 1.5 and negative 2. And again, your radius is approximately equal to 3.16. So, let us try to uh, graph this circle dito sa ating partition tape. So, you have negative um, 1.5 and negative 2. So, dito sa quadrant 3. Okay, so you have negative 1.5. Negative 1.5. So, dito. Let us mark that one. So, nandito. Ayan, 1.5. And then, you have negative 2. So, it's, ayan. Estimated na nandito siya. Kaya, kailangan nyo ng graphing notebook or graphing paper para at least talagang sakto yung uh, paggawa mo na, ay, yung pagkuha mo ng coordinate. So, yung pag-ipaplat mo na yung coordinates. Sakto siya. So, this is your cell. Oh, yan. Yeah. 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 Everybody for this? Bye everyone!